Welcome back. Long-term care is costing more and more money as people live longer and the need for workers grows. And what should come as no surprise, baby boomers, the generation now turning 70, will have an even greater impact on the system. And now some experts are recommending that people start saving for long-term care once they turn 40. The CBS 58's Amanda Becker talked to a former teacher who fell sick over the last year and learned just how costly long-term care can be. Lloyd Street Elementary is where Mary Beth Gaborski made an impact on her students and her community. She was a teacher here for more than 20 years, but when she fell sick just about a year ago, she realized there aren't enough systems in place to support her as she gets older. Up to this time, I have been healthy and dancing and going out with friends and going to films, working on my art and all sorts of things. Mary Beth Gaborski was diagnosed with cerebral amyloid angiopathy, or CAA, one year ago. It's a brain bleed and a disease with no cure. It was so sudden. At 75 years old, her condition is quickly taking away her independence. I mean, I've lost all the power in my fingers. She can't walk, she's losing her voice, and she can hardly write her name anymore, a difficult reality for an artist. She ended up painting the entire, well, the children did, painting the entire gym like a dark blue. And then she had the children use iridescent paints to paint the, the, the planets. Gaborski was an art teacher at Lloyd Street Elementary for two decades. She's known for her over-the-top murals of things like the solar system and the ocean. These are some that I saved over the years. And over there it says, hi, neighbor. She won dozens of awards like the Herb Cole Teacher Award and recognition for her outdoor murals at the school. And somebody that, you know, gave basically her own life to education. Her daughter Anna has spent the last few months getting her mother the care she now needs. She wanted to make sure her mom, a lifelong East Sider, could stay in the area she calls home. But it was harder and more expensive than she imagined. If anything, nursing homes are closing. They can't get staff. It's harder to find a bed. Um, it's a real crisis, actually, long-term care crisis. And now that the boomers are in their late 70s, and the boomers were a big, big generation. That's only gonna get worse and worse and worse. Julie Ellis has worked with the elderly for over 40 years. She's currently a nursing professor at UW-Milwaukee. Do you think as a society that we are educated and prepared enough for old age? Not at all, because number one, we don't want to even think about old age. Ellis says 90% of people will live to be old and need some type of care, from meals on wheels to assisted living. The average cost of an assisted living facility in Milwaukee is $54,000. For a nursing home, it jumps up to $100,000 a year, and it can vary based on how much you need. The cost of care it comes as a shock to everyone, unless they have a social worker, nurse, or somebody like that in the family where they've done it for a living and they know the details. While both Medicare and Medicaid are tools that people can use, Medicare will not pay for assisted living and it only covers 100 days in a nursing home. Medicaid requires you to deplete all of your savings and your assets and many places don't even accept it. The more education, the better about options, what's out there, what does Medicare actually pay for, what does Medicaid pay for. The Gaborskis never thought they'd find themselves so unsure about where they'd be in the next year. And the bills just keep piling up. I can't wait till I get an electric wheelchair. Ellis says most people will have to care for a parent or a family member at some point in their life, and she urges people to plan early. A concession keeps her costs at the assisted living facility at $5,000 a month, but that's still more than she brings in. Her daughter is selling some of her artwork to make up for those costs. Reporting in Milwaukee, Amanda Becker, CBS 58 News.